Designs are not just meant to be seen, they're meant to be experienced. That's where prototyping comes in. And with Figma, your designs don't just sit on a screen, they come alive. Welcome to this video on prototyping with Figma, where you learn how to transform static designs into interactive experiences that tell a story, engage users and gather valuable feedback. This course is all about giving you hands-on skills to connect screens, add interaction and simulate real user flow all within Figma's collaborative environment. By the end, you will be able to create prototypes that look real, feel intuitive and help your ideas move smoothly from concept to implementation. But before we dive in, let's warm up with a quick quiz. Why do you think designers create prototypes? To impress clients with animation, to test ideas and gather feedback early, to skip development, or to make designs look fancy? Let me know your answer in the comment section below. Also, just a quick information, you can unlock your future design with Purdue University UI UX design program with generative AI delivered by Simply Learn. Over 20 plus weeks of live interactive learning, you will gain hands-on experience with 25 plus cutting-edge design tools like Figma, Miro and Maze while mastering next-gen skills in AR, VR and XR prototyping. With 100 plus hours of live classes, mentor-led project support and 15 plus portfolio worthy projects, this program ensures you graduate job ready. Guided by world-class design experts and backed by Purdue's prestigious recognition, you will not only build a standout portfolio but also gain exclusive access to Purdue's alumni network. Take the next step towards a high-demand UI UX career by clicking on the link in the description box and given in the comment section below. Also, if you are interested in similar kind of content, do like, share and subscribe and don't forget to hit that notification bell to stay updated. So, let's get started with the problem. When we create a design, it often looks beautiful on screen. Everything seems polished, the layout, the colors, the images, but here's the issue. It's a picture. As you can see in this example, the design looks great, but you can't click on it. It's like staring at the store display through a window. It looks appealing, but you can't interact with. Now imagine showing this to your client, a stakeholder or even in a team. They might say, this looks good, but how will it work? And that's where the confusion begins. Without being able to interact with the design, users are left guessing what happens when they click a button or whether the menu will open or how the flow continues. This leads to a second major issue, which is designs that don't respond leaves users guessing. When people can't experience how a design works, they either misunderstand the flow or start making assumptions. And assumptions often lead to misaligned expectations, wasted time and unnecessary rework. So essentially, static images create a gap. They look nice, but they fail to communicate functionality. And this gap is exactly what prototyping is meant to solve. It transforms static screens into interactive experiences, helping everyone see not just what the product looks like, but how it feels. Here's where prototyping concepts comes in place, which is moving beyond static visuals. A design on its own looks beautiful, but it doesn't show what it feels like to actually use the product. Prototyping bridges the gap between by making designs interactive with a prototype. Instead of just seeing a layout, you can click through it. You can open menus, move from one page to another, or test how button behaves. This makes it possible to simulate the real user journey even before a single line of code is written. The power of prototyping is that it transforms ideas into something tangible. Stakeholders don't just look into designs, they experience it. Developers don't have to guess how interactions should work, they can just see and test them right away. And users can give more meaningful feedback because they are interacting with the designs instead of just imagining how it might function. That's where prototyping takes you from vision to experience. Vision is about how you want something to look, but experience is about how it actually feels to use. 
prototyping connects the two ensuring the design isn't just a picture but a living testable version of the final product now that we have seen what prototyping is let's look at the tools that makes it possible which is figma Figma is a cloud-based design and collaboration platform that has completely changed the way teams work on digital products. Unlike traditional design tools that run on heavy software and require constant file sharing, Figma lives online. This means multiple people can open the same file, work together in real time and see changes instantly just like working in Google Docs. What makes Figma so powerful? It is that it brings everything into one space. You can design user interfaces, create interactive prototypes and even hand off your project to developers all without leaving the platform. And since it's a cloud based there is no version chaos. Everyone always has the latest file. It's not just for designers either. Developers, product managers, marketers and even client can be a part of the same workflow. They can review, comment and collaborate directly inside the tool. This creates a truly connected ecosystem where design is no longer isolated but a part of a bigger conversion. And that's why we say one tool endless possibilities because with figma you're not just designing you're collaborating prototyping and building experiences together so how does prototyping actually work in figma the process is very simple and that's one of the reason it's so widely used the first step is to connect you start by linking the screens you have designed for example if you have login page and a dashboard you can connect the login button so that it takes you to the dashboard screen these connections define the user journey how one screen flows into the next the second step is interact this is where you add interaction and behaviors you can set up things like what happens on a click a hover or a swipe it's not just about navigation you can even add micro interactions like drop downs opening or button changing state this makes the prototype feel alive almost like a real product finally the third step is test once your prototype is ready you can share it with your entire team stakeholders or even the user to walk through the experience this is where the magic happens people can click through a design give feedback instantly and you can make improvements before development starts so in short prototyping in figma is all about connecting interacting and testing With these three steps you can turn static screens into clickable journeys that feel real helping everyone understand not just what product looks like but how it feels now let's quickly see a demo of figma with a small problem of how to prototype with ai which is integrated in figma right now so this is the interface of figma where you can see the details and the tabs that they are providing so we have the recent which you have worked on we have templates to work on draft that you can continue working all the products and there is a trash bin too so what if i have to create a e-commerce website Also in the right hand side you can see designed fig jam slides bus or site to create so let's go with the designing option so it will ask you a question if you want to design a website mobile app or a desktop app so let's go with designing a website let's say a e-commerce website so here there are templates which you can use and landing page shop article about pages are given in detail you can designing according to your preferences so here according to your websites you can change the images and the description given so it automatically connects and you can have a experience of the website apart from this figma is also having an ai integrated where you can just command what kind of website you want to and it generates the entire website for you Now that we know how prototyping work let's look at why it's so valuable the first big benefit is faster feedback instead of waiting until development to test how something feels you can share a prototype right away 
stakeholders, clients or even end users can click through it and give their thoughts instantly. This means issues are caught earlier before even they become expensive mistakes. Second is team collaboration. Prototyping brings designers, developers and decision makers onto the same page. Instead of describing how something should work, you can show it. Developers understand the flow better. Managers can visualize the product and designers can refine details, all in real time. The third benefit is design clarity. Prototyping makes abstract ideas concrete. Instead of leaving people guessing about how a feature will behave, you demonstrate it. This creates alignment and reduces misunderstanding so everyone knows exactly what to expect. And that's why we say prototyping makes designs faster, smarter and cleaner. It speeds up decision making, strengthens collaboration and ensures that what gets built is what truly intended. Prototyping isn't just a design exercise. It has a powerful application across real world scenarios. Let's look at some of most common use cases. First is startup MVP validation. Startup often needs a test ideas quickly without spending months building a product. A prototype helps them present their vision to investors, get feedback from them, potential customers and validate whether the idea is worth pursuing, all at a fraction of a cost. Second is mobile app web development designs. Prototyping makes it easy to map out user flows, test navigations and ensure the app feels intuitive. Before writing a single line of code, you can check if the user can complete tasks smoothly like login or making a purchase. Third is marketing and landing page testing. Marketers can create prototypes of landing pages and test different layouts, messages or calls to action. This helps them understand what resonates with users before launching full campaigns. Fourth is enterprise feature testing. Larger organizations often roll out new features for complex systems. Prototypes allow them to simulate those features, gather employee or customer input and refine the designs before rolling it out of a big scale. And finally, user testing and research. Researchers can hand prototypes to real users, observe how they interact and uncover usability issues early on. This leads to products that are not just visually appealing but genuinely user-friendly. So whether it's a startup idea, a new app, a marketing campaign or an enterprise feature, prototyping provides a safe, cost-effective way to test, refine and succeed. As we wrap up, let's step back and look at a bigger picture. Every great product starts with an idea, a spark of inspiration about solving a problem or create something new. But an idea alone isn't enough. It needs to be shaped into a design, something we can see, refine and improve. Yet even a design by itself has its limits because static visuals don't capture the real user journey. That's where prototyping comes in. Prototyping transforms the design into an experience. It allows us to click, test and feel how a product will actually work. It bridges the gap between imagination and reality, making sure that what we built is aligned with user needs and expectations. So, to put it simply, prototyping turns ideas into designs and designs into experiences. And with these tools like Figma, this process becomes seamless, collaborative and incredibly powerful. If there is one thing I would like you to take away, it's this. Prototyping isn't just about making designs clickable. It's about building confidence. Confidence that's what we create isn't just visually appealing, but truly usable and valuable. So that's a wrap on this video. Hope you have gained valuable insight. Make sure to hit that notification bell and do subscribe for similar kind of content. Until next time, keep learning with Simply Learn.